Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Simon the Sorcerer, where we've got ourselves a quest. The wizards have told us that to become a wizard ourselves, we need to find this um, staff. Now, I've been looking at the map and things. It seems like we've got to, you know, go out of this village now to, I don't know, somewhere else. Um, I don't know how to get out of here, basically. I don't know if we need to do something. I don't know if there's, like, an area that we've missed. Um, but it strikes me as something that we need to do. Um, I mean, there's like, if we go this way, where does this bring us out? So this takes us back to there. And obviously that takes us back to like that, the cottage and the, like the house. Um, apparently I might have missed something in the bar, so we'll check that out at the tavern, I should say. Is there anything this way? Um, yes, yeah, so we'll have to check that out at some point. I don't know if we can get anything from the shop. It doesn't even seem like we've got any money, so I'm guessing that's an... Oh, have we been here before? This actually looks familiar. Maybe we have. So it looks like we've got two ways here. Oh, oh god, what's that? Like a giant bug or something. I'm really nervous that... Oh, is this like a maze? Oh yeah, we can go lots of ways here. Oh god. <laughs> this could get interesting. Ooh, what's this? Big fallen tree. Uh, I don't know if we can... look at this at all? I've been told as well you can press F10 to show like hot spots and things. I'm, I'm gonna try not to do that if I can help it. Um, just because I, I like to find things myself, but... Oh my god, this place is uh, pretty crazy. Have, have we like uncovered a new... Oh no, we haven't. We haven't uncovered a new place. So we can go down here, we can go off here. I did see a comment on the first episode actually saying that this game is quite maze-like and maybe this is what... Oh god, what is that? Uh, what the hell was that thing? Can we go into the trees, by the way? I mean, I'm assuming there's no, like, deaths in this game. I don't know. There might be. Oh, okay. We've got something. There's a well here. Oh, God. That doesn't sound friendly. <laughs> it's a very deep well. Very deep well. Oh. Can we use the ladder on this? That doesn't work. No. Okay. Um, we've got all sorts of crap here. Oh, maybe the rope. That doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Um, can we, like, cut the rope on that? That doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we can go off to the side here. Oh, yeah, it looks like... No, we can't. Okay. We've got a door. Uh, so, we've got, like, really weird commands here. We've got, like, consume, talk... I mean, talk to is fine. Remove, wear. Um, I don't know why we would use any of those, but... Can we? I'd better knock. Go on then. Nobody home. All right, let's open it then. Oh god. I have a bad feeling about this. That's gonna turn out to be a witch or something, isn't it? Uh, all right, let's just snoop around. Yeah, it's a broomstick as it's well. It's a strong wooden trunk. Let's open that. How do you suggest I open the locks? Uh, that's a good point. Can we like pick it using this? That doesn't work. No. Okay, we've got all crap all over the wall. None of it we can interact with. A broom. It looks like the sort of thing a witch might fly on. Can we take it? Oh dear. Uh oh. <coughs> Hello. Oh dear. Ain't no one ever told you not to steal from a witch? We didn't know. Uh, I'm a wizard. I steal from who I want. No, miss. Sorry, miss. I was only borrowing it. Excuse me, I've got a train to catch. I'm a wizard. I steal from who I want. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. You want to fight, do you? Not really. You want a wizard's duel? Uh, okay, I'm game. What are the stakes? I wouldn't want to take your money. Fighting is totally against my principles. Uh, what are the stakes? What are the stakes? My broomstick against your life. Uh, are you sure those sounds, odds are fair? Sounds steep. out, eh? It just seems steep um quack <laughs> quack 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 typical wizard now get out of 
out here before I show you some real magic. Yes, ma'am. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Can we go back in? <laughs> Phew. That was a close one. It was. Can we uh, go straight back in? <laughs> we can. <laughs> I wonder if you'll show up straight away or if we can do a bit of one. Night. So, the little wizard has returned. You want to fight, do you? You want a wizard's duel. I mean... No. Fighting is totally against my principles. You mean losing is totally against your principles? You're chickening out. Uh, yeah, fine. Absolutely. I value my life. Typical wizard. Now get out of here before I show you some real magic. Yes, ma'am. The thing is, I don't know if we can die. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one. Joe, you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a save here. Um, I'm just gonna call it like witch fight. Witch fight. Okay. Uh, let's hit a save and let's see what happens. Because I, I genuinely don't know if there's deaths in this game or not. So let's test it. We might just lose. <laughs> Yeah. You want to fight, do you? Yeah, let's fight. You want a wizard's duel? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm game. Ha! You're not even a proper wizard yet. Get out of here before I show you some oh, real what? magic. She won't even yes, do it. You coward. You won't even Phew. fight us. That was a close one. No, she's just a coward. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, all that talk, and then she's like, you're not even a real wizard. Well, fight me then. Guess we're not going that way. It, is that out of curiosity? Has that gone onto the map? Uh, it has. Which it's which is cottage? Okay. Well, that's good because it means we can fast travel back to here if we if we want to. Um, let's head off this way. Which way? Do you any spare wood on you, mate? Uh, excuse me. Did you me? just hear something? Any spare wood on you, mate? Who who the hell said that? I'm. Mean, Is it something in here? I can only assume it's got something to do with the the, the stump. Um, Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We're not fussy. Who are you? I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. Get off me! It, is it the stump? I couldn't breathe under there. My whole life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You could at least look at me when you're talking to me. Where are you? Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. <laughs> okay, I was talking to the player, not you. <laughs> I was talking to the player, not you. Oh, right. So, you got any spare wood or not? Maybe. You're trying to build yourself up again or something? I refuse utterly to acknowledge that I'm talking to a tree stump. No, I haven't got any. What do you want it for anyway? I'd give you wood if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Um... No, I haven't got any. What do you want it for, anyway? What do you mean? We're woodworm! Oh. Isn't it obvious what we want it for? Okay, didn't realise. Sorry, I didn't realise you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? I mean... <laughs> I didn't expect talking woodworm, if that's what you mean. I didn't expect talking woodworm, if that's what you mean. No one expects the talking woodworm. That's such a typical attitude of humanity in <laughs> general. You just presume that we can't talk. Sorry. You don't bother actually trying to speak to us. That's racism for you, though. Pure <laughs> bloody-minded racism. Oh, my God. I, I didn't mean to offend anyone. Look, I didn't mean to offend anyone. That's what they all say. One misplaced foot and ten of my best friends never breathe again. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, uh, is there anything I can do to help? Is there anything I can do to help? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Teak, for example. Teak. Or cocoa wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? How about a bit of ebony? <laughs> ebony, yeah. What about balsa? I love a bit of balsa. Ebony, balsa, ebony, driftwood. Shut up yourself. What is going Batso. on? Batso? Look who's talking, blubber bum! Young hooligan. 
have some respect. Sort of, Granddad. I reckon it should be Oak. And I say Balsa. Are you guys I done? I agree with Teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak! Balsa! Oak! Mahogany! I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah. I still prefer teak. Shut up. Mahogany it is then. Wow. Um. I mean, what do I get out of it? What do I get out of it? The satisfaction of knowing you've made an invertebrate's life more bearable. <laughs> mm. I feel better just thinking about it. Okay. I mean, we've we've got a ladder. I mean, that's just plain silly. I don't think it is. All right, well, we'll be back. Um, did we come from this direction? Or did we come from that direction? Yeah, we came from this direction. So they need some wood. Let's go this way. We're looking for this, like, graveyard or something, I guess. Ah, oh, look at that bird. That's nice, isn't it? Any other weird talking creatures around here? Oh, okay. Hello. Not <laughs> trip trapping all one <laughs> Very good. Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Graf. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no! Please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Graf comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well. Be off with. Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. <laughs> if we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no. That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you. <laughs> and then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff yeah, and so on. We know your story. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to the popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the food. Now, come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff and Gruff Corporation <laughs> by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, <laughs> you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. <laughs> Christmas so bonus. I decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action in the stead. I am forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. Oh, come on. But we want to get across the bridge. <laughs> He's actually protesting, mate. <laughs> All right. You realise that the billy goat is trying to reason with the troll? I shall... Uh, ahem. Look, can't you see I'm busy? All right, let's talk to the uh, troll. Uh, top of the morning to you, Mr. Troll. May I cross the bridge, please? Excuse me, you spelt rights wrong in your placard. What appears to be the problem here? What appears to be the problem here? I demand satisfaction, and until I get it, no one may cross the bridge. All right. Um, lucky for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. Luckily for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. Really? Perhaps you can tell me what satisfaction is. Um, why are you unhappy? Why are you unhappy? Every day, these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation. Until I get a goat to eat, no one may cross 
Dead range. Oh, come on. Why don't you just eat these two now? Uh, you could do with some meat in your bones. No problem. How would you like your goat? <laughs> no problem, sir. How would you like your goat? Do would be nice. It's been a long time since I had goat stew. All I want is some goat to eat. Is that too much to ask? I'll see what I can do, okay? Yeah, let's see what we can do. Um, can we do? There are other... Excuse me, Mr. Goat. Look, buzz off, kid. I'm trying to sort something out. <laughs> okay, we can't talk to the other goat. It looks like we're, we're potentially stuck You've here for the time no being. right to do this. I shall not... I shall not be moved. <laughs> All right, fine. You've gone too. I mean, can we maybe get like some sort of like meal from the tavern or somewhere like that back in town? Potentially, I don't know. I'll tell you what, guys, we're out of time anyway, so we'll try and figure this out in the next one. This is really, really good. I love the humour; it's fantastic. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons: Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Timley Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leone, Fossey the Sheep, John Com Five Five Five, Chrissy, and Paul James. And I'll see you next time.